Hi, I'm Christine from House of Smocking and in this video I'm going to show you how to make up a bishop bubble using the pattern Jamie by Children's Corner. I'm going to be using this pink uh, Imperial Se Seersucker which should be great for bubbles because you can't iron it and it, bubbles are notoriously difficult to get an iron into. This is the first of uh, several steps. So the first step I'll show you the cutting out sewing together and the pleating. So I've cut my pieces out, I have two sleeves and in the pattern it says to mark which side is the front edge. So that's the front edge and that's the back edge of the sleeve. So I've just put a pin in so that I know which order to sew them together in. This is my front and it's cut on the fold and I've marked the centre of my fabric and then the back piece it says to mark down to the dot and slit ready for a placket. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to pleat up the edge of the sleeves first because it's much easier to do when they're loose than once they're attached to the bishop so I'll do that next. So now you can see that I've pleated up my sleeves. I've left the threads long so that I can flatten the sleeve out. Uh, the pattern asks for two rows of uh, pleatings but I've actually used five half space rows and the half spaces are brilliant for seersucker. So actually what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add my lace to the bottom of the sleeves. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put with the right sides together of the lace I'm going to sew it along that edge and then when I've done that I'm going to fold it over and then zigzag along the folded edge. So now I've attached the lace okay, onto the edge and the next thing I'm going to do because this fabric would make quite chunky seams if I was to do a French seam uh, for me to pleat the bishop I'm going to overlock the two edges, in fact all four, all, all two, four, six, eight edges um, and then I'm going to do a seam and then I'm going to open it out flat so that it goes through and there's only then two thicknesses going through the pleater. So I'll show you how I mean shortly. So now you can see that I've overlocked round all the armholes of each piece. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach all the pieces. So I'm going to attach the back of the sleeve to the back with the right sides together. And then I'm going to attach the front of the sleeve to the front and then the other sleeve. Again with right sides together and then this side will join right sides together to the other half of the back and then it'll all be in like a big round circle. So here we have, I've attached the sleeves to the backs and to the fronts and what I've done is I've overlocked the edges, I've done my seam and then I've folded them flat and just done a stitch length five to hold the two edges down while it goes through the pleater. So I will take those two threads out. You can barely see them on this, but there are some long threads there, you see, just going down just to hold the side, um, the seams in place. So next thing I'm going to do, I think, is the placket. No, nope, sorry, the next thing uh, the pattern suggests I do is I do two gathering threads on the sewing machine um, round the top, so an eighth of an inch in and then three eighths of an inch in so that that helps with gathering up the neckline for when you add the bias binding. So I've now pleated up the bishop and you can see if I pull the pleats up together I've got two slightly larger pleats there, it doesn't show very well at the moment but there you go. So that's where my seam is there so I've got two slightly bigger pleats but nothing too wor to worry about but it's also much neater on the inside so I can pull my long stitch threads out I put in to hold the um, edges down while I pleated it
but there you can see it's just another way to do seams on a bishop. I know I could have done a seam free pleating system on there but I always find it's quite difficult to get it as neat on the inside uh, than with this way. So the next thing for me to do is pull up the uh, threads to the right size ready for smocking. And there we have, I've pleated it all up and tied it off into a circle. It says to tie off the neckline to 11 inches, which is what I've done, and then pull the other threads up so it finishes up in the round. Okay, so I'm now going to do the smocking. So that'll be in step two. So this is step one, so the cutting out and the pleating up. And uh, I won't gather the sleeves up until I've done the neckline. So I hope you've enjoyed this so far and we'll see you in step two.